Race three is the best mate novices chase. And this is a three mile up. Oh, there's just eight in this. Not so many novices around maybe this season. And at the top we've got Nockdolian Robin for James Shea, the Phalanx for Joshua Sutherland. That's his first run of the season. Vanishing for Paul Parsons, Victorian Bounty, Jamie Hopkins, Zeraldo Zavra or Darren Thompson, Fistek or Leon Van Rensburg, Iris Quote or Derek Hinton and Talk Back Mayor for Graham Clutterbuck. They're already racing. A very short run to the first fence, which is a mighty ditch and Talk Back Mayor has gone. So a faller at the first. Graham Clutterbuck's horse and a good start there for Grey. As one of the Greys goes at the first. But these fences do look a little bit big. I saw his quote. Who's in the lead then? That's the first fall of the season, I think. Many falls in the first two hurdles. And it's Iris Quote for Derek Hinton, who's in front, leading by about three as they get into the second. And oh, we've lost another one there. We've lost another one. It's Fistek who's gone this time for Leon van Rensburg. So it's not going to be a three race start for Leon. He's won the first two, but he's not going to win this one because Fistek has departed the race. So dramatic start to the first chase of the season. It's a novice chase as well, of course, so we might have expected it. And Darren Thompson's horse, Zeraldo Zafra, has taken two almighty risks so far. And the chances of that getting round are pretty slim, I'd think, the way it's jumping so far. So they're coming up past the stand, and they've got two complete circuits of Taunton to go. And Derek Hinton's Iris Quote is in the lead, leading by about four lengths to the Phalanx in second for Joshua Sutherland, returning champion trainer. First one of the season for him, Knock Dolly and Robin is next for James Shea, then Zeraldo Zafra, who's going to try and sort his jumping out, and then the other two are out of shot, Vanishing and Victorian Bounty. But it's Iris Quote. Oh. Hollywood Hinton, a good six lengths clear, then coming into this one, it's a plain one. Oh well, they're going again. Darren Thompson, Zeraldo Zafra in the purple with the white sleeves, the maroon with the white sleeves, matter. Dreadful mistake, and that's three mistakes out of five fences now, I think. As they get to the six, which is another big ditch, let's see how he gets over this one. Jump that one, okay. The rest of them did as well, and it's Iris Quote who's setting the pace. Could be a bit stiff this pace for a three mile up as they get over the next, and they're all safely over that one. We're taking on trust that Victorian Bounty got over it, okay. That one is well out of shot. That may not be a bad thing, the pace they're going. As they get to another ditch, and Iris Quote was a little bit slower on that one, so too was the Phalanx. Knocked Dolly and Robin on the outside of that one is third, then Vanishing is next, and then Zeraldo Zafra. And then somewhere out of shot is Victorian Bounty. I might get a wide panned out shot soon, see where that one is. And it's Iris Quote, who's well clear at this point. And now to fence nine, which will mean half the jumping done. And they all got over that one okay. And there's Victorian. Oh, there's another one gone. It's Iris Quote, the leader, crashes out. And what a dramatic first chase of the season we're having. I'm so busy there looking for Victorian Bounty. I missed the leader almost crashing out of the race. So it's the Phalanx who's been left in front. As they come up past the stand and the assembled race goers can see only five horses left out of the eight that started. And the Phalanx passes the winning post in the lead with a circuit to go. Nockdoli and Robin is second in the green. Then Zeraldo Zafra, who's looked the most likely horse to fall in the race so far, but he's still on his feet. Then Vanishing on the outside is in fourth. And a big gap back to Victorian Bounty, who if he stays on his feet will be guaranteed prize money. And it's the Phalanx. It was clear. By a good six or seven lengths, I would say. To Zeraldo Zaffer in second. Not Dolly and Robin on the outside of that one. He's in third as they get over the twelfth. And all safely over that one. Vanishing in fourth. And this could well be Paul Parsons' first prize money in the jumps as well if he stays on his feet. And it's the Phalanx who's in front. Heading down towards the 13th, another ditch. Over it they all go. All over it, okay. Only five that remain. 
to the full length. Um, some would say this is looking like a penalty kick for the Phalanx now. Still clear by a good four or five. We have knocked Dolly and Robin seconds, and Aldo Zafra third. This is another ditch. The Phalanx just coming back to them. Uh, Zeraldo Zafra and not Dolian Robin look like they're going to try and make a race of it, but now he says go on the Phalanx, and that's exactly what the Phalanx does as they turn towards home. And the Phalanx has opened up again now by four or five lengths. Zeraldo Zafra is a clear second, not Dolian Robin doesn't appear to have anything left as they race down towards the final three. And over the third last, the Phalanx landed in the lead. Zeraldo Zafra has finally got his jumping together, but He's still three lengths down over the second last they go and the phalanx is clear over that one and heading down towards the final fence it looks like he's probably only got a jump this to give josh his first winner of the season and over it they go first runner first winner situation normal joshua sutherland in the race in the winner's enclosure up towards the line then the phalanx takes it pretty easily really in the end Zeraldo Zafra, an interesting race for that one in second. Noctolian Robin third, vanishing fourth. Well done to Paul Parsons. And Victorian Bouncy will come round in fifth to pick up prize money for Jamie Hopkins on his return after a long absence. And he's back. Picking up some prize money on day one. So the Phalanx takes it then for Joshua Sutherland. Zeraldo Zafra. Or oh, Darren Thompson second. If that one gets his jumping sorted out, it could be a decent noise. Noctolian Robin for James Shea was third. Vanishing for Paul Parsons was fourth. And Victorian Bounty for Jamie Hopkins was fifth and picks up an Andy 200 quid. And they were the only ones that finished.